Yeah, I'm here with Chris McCormick and he's going to show me the latest version of well, Mobile Orchestra, a PD Droid Party, our project to get a network of music apps synced together on iOS and Android. And we're going to actually look at Android now. So um, what I'm going to do here is just create a little tethering Wi-Fi network on my Android phone. And then this one will connect to it. So we've got a little LAN happening so it, just that, between these two devices. So that's, even on Android, is a pretty straightforward procedure now yeah, then. Yeah, I mean, that's connected now. So then cool. we launch PD oh. Droid Party. And we'll start Count of Beats on this one. And then on this one, I'm going to start the acid generator I've been working on. Right. So turn this guy on. Oops. That's cool. Yeah, turn it up. It's good. Oh, that'll be louder than this one probably. Select some notes here. And you can see the notes are synced across here. So if I um randomize, turn up the volume. So that's the acid coming from this one, and the beat coming from here. Safe. And now, on this one I can do a... You're changing the octave there? Yep. If we had that plugged into a big speaker, that bass would sound pretty nice. Now I'm going to randomize that. This can of beats is a wicked app, actually, I've got to say. Simple, but <laughs> wicked. I love things like that. Yeah. So that's basically it. So when you say these notes here, what does those mean, the C sharp, D sharp, E and F? So that's basically picking the key. I can, um, if you can, if we, you can hear the acid there, and I'll do a, record a bit of Now I can uh, change the key here, so. Are those all the notes that it's using, though? Um, yeah, it's, it uses basically a lookup table, so the acid and the this touch synth here are both looking up into the same set of, the same key. Yeah. So, I mean, it would be possible to have more or less notes or whatever, but this is the simple. The sync sounds really tight. Yeah, it's pretty tight because both of these devices have the same latency. Yeah. So I still need to do that latency compensation thing, but when, yeah. when you're on two Android devices, they're both running the same OS. Yeah. And uh, with Peter's latest patches, it's down to about 100 milliseconds. So it's not... The, the Android sound latency. Yeah. Right. I think the iOS one's more like 40 milliseconds. So if you had an iOS device... But these are these are running Android uh, 2, is it? These are 2.3.4, 2. 2. I think. So we on, say, Android 4, which a lot of new devices are, we would be expecting a better result, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting... Well, it would be good to do some tests on Android 4 and C. For sure. Yep. Wicked.